Howdy everybody, David here, and this is another product review. And in this particular product review, we're going to be taking a look at the new 13th Age that just came out, uh, I think it was in February, the High Magic and Low Cunning, basically a book of nothing but battle scenes for your campaign. And this is uh, by Cal Moore, and it is 191 pages long, and it deals with five icons. And you can pick this up on the Pelgrain Press website, and the they have different options for you if you want to buy the physical book and also the PDFs. It is going to cost you $39.95 for both the physical books. There is a book, a pack of maps, and then the digital PDF book and digital maps. So they really take care of you. The maps are also DM versions and player versions and uh, I really really like the way that they've they've done this new high cunning and low magic. Now if you just want the book it will cost you $29.95 or if you just want the PDF it'll cost you $19.95 for the maps. So there you go. Now like I said this book is nothing but battle scenes and it this book kind of reminds me if you are familiar with Dungeons and Dragons 4th edition there was a uh, an adventure book called The Dungeon Delve and it basically covered levels 1 through 30 and it had a basically an adventure for every level so there were 30 adventures and within those 30 adventures there were three encounters for every adventure I love that book. It, it was great plug-and-play material that if you needed something for level 6 characters, you just go right to the book, go to the level 6 adventure, boom, you got something you know, for the night that you needed. Well, this is the same way, but this book goes into much more detail. Now, High Cunning and Low Magic, it deals with five particular icons, and the five icons that it deals with are the Archmage, the Hydruid, the Orc Lord, the Prince of Shadows, and the Three. And within each one of these adventures, there's going to be several full stories for each icon. And they're going to eventually do all of the icons, but it's like they were saying, uh, you know, like 13th Age was saying, they can't put them all in one book because the book would just be way too big. So they're going to have to break this up probably into two, maybe three books. And, you know, within every one of these adventures, and, and, and I'll tell you this right now, uh, I pre-ordered this. I pre-ordered the physical and digital stuff, and they haven't shipped the physical stuff yet. So whenever I get the physical stuff, I will create a new video uh, with the physical product right at the beginning of this video. So just to let you know, I'm not going to try to throw, throw you off or anything like that. So, all right, so the PDF <clears throat> or the book is 191 pages. Now the first thing that you're going to notice is, unfortunately, the PDF is in black and white. And uh, I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in that, but maybe they'll change it later on. I, I, I'm sure, I'm, I'm hoping this book is not printed in black and white, uh, because especially with all of the, the maps and all of the, the, you know, the content inside, I was really hoping that the PDF was going to be in color. Now, I know that the map pack, the PDF map pack that I have, and I'm going to show you that also, it is in full color. So, I, I know that they, they do have the ability to, 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 to cover this, color this stuff. So, all right. Here's the five icons. You can see that here's one Archmage adventure called Maz's Magnificent Mess. Here's another Archmage adventure called The Lightning Station. Here's one called The Overworld Vault. And you can see within each one of those adventures there, you know, the introduction and then battle scenes according. And it's it's really nice. <clears throat> There's a lot of adventures and you can plug and play these in, you know, any game that you want. Now, let's talk about the structure of the way that these are set up and I think it's I think it's great how they have these set up they go into uh, Cal Moore goes into grave detail uh, on giving you as much information as you need to know about this encounter now the structure is 
it's going to have a level range for you. And much like all the other 13th Age products, you're going to have a chart in each one of these adventures, or battle scenes as they're called, where it's going to give you the amount of players times the, with their level. And then you're going to be able to adjust that just with an eye look on a chart as to, hey, if you've got five players at fourth level, here's what you need in this encounter. If you have three players at sixth level, here's what you're going to need. So I really like the way that they take the time and go that extra and put that little bit of extra effort in to save time for the DM because the DM really has a lot on his or her shoulders. And the more that a, a game can do to help the DM or the GM is just magnificent. And I, and I truly appreciate it. So, all right, so the structures of each scene are, like I said, the level ranges, and you're going to be able to adjust accordingly. You're not going to have to do any math, nothing like that. Uh, it's going to give you the introduction to each, to each adventure, and it'll also give you stories on the NPCs and whatnot. We'll take a look at the first Arc, arc Mage uh, adventure with Moz. There's going to be the, you know, like I said, the story opening, and this is going to have a bunch of different possible ways that you can incorporate this game into, you know, this battle scene into your game. But, you know, it also states that you don't have to use these. You as a, as a GM and the players can come up with other ways to incorporate these into your game. These are just basically ideas for you, and then you can build on that. Now, if you if you like, say this first uh, battle scene is going to you know, deal with the Archmage. If you don't want to use the Archmage, maybe none of your players in the group uh, are you know have the Archmage as an icon. Then there are alternative icons listed for every adventure, and I think that's brilliant. So I think it's really nice. There's a complete overview of each adventure, and then the battles themselves are going to have maps. There's going to be uh, game master maps with all of the locations of the creatures, traps, and there are a ton of traps and tons of terrain that are going to uh, be injected into these encounters. And, and I'm really happy about that. And it all stems from the new uh, 13th Age Dungeon Masters resource book where it really talks about incorporating t terrain into your games. Landslides, you know, rock falls, stuff like that. I, I really like that. And all of these battle scenes have that terrain injected. And so there's not just a fight going on, there's a lot of other things and mechanics going on that the players have to worry about instead of just fighting the orcs. Beautiful. So there's going to be uh, flavor text for all of the you know different uh, battles, any kind of you know role playing possibilities with text. Uh, it's going to have all the location descriptions on, like I said, the dungeon master or game master maps, and then there's also in the map pack the colored maps with no locations on there. That way you can use them for your miniatures and whatnot. Uh, like I said, I've already talked about terrain and traps, and that's a good thing. It really sprucens up a battle. It really, it, really, it really does spruce up a battle. Now, monsters, and we've already talked about the monster chart, but each battle scene is going to have all of the monsters, and there are some monsters, uh, and, and the book does state, Cal does state, that uh, he has used some monsters from the core book, from 13th Age, 13 True Ways, the Bestiary and whatnot, but don't worry, there are a ton of new monsters in this uh, uh, high magic and low cunning book. So there's a ton of new monsters. This has all of the tactics for all the fights too. So if you're looking at, you know, maybe orcs or giants up on the uh, on a ledge, maybe uh, it'll talk about them throwing boulders and then maybe one will come down, but it gives you all the tactics for the fight. And you don't have to follow the tactics. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you're the GM. So now for loot, it has a lot of loot that is uh, already in the Book of Loot that you can get from 13th Age, and also a ton more new treasure too. So don't worry about that. And then it has all of the information that deals with the icons and the next parts of the adventure to carry on to the next battle scene. And then at the end of the end of the battle scene, then it gives you some other ways to carry on the story from there if you want to take it past 
you know, the two or three scenes. So I really like the way that it's set up. It's very, very, very highly organized, and I, I think Cal's done a good job on this. So the first adventure, Archmage, Mazel's Magnificent Mess. This is a level range two to three, and it gives you information on, on Maws. Uh, here's your introduction. All kinds of story openings here, as you can see gives you uh, three or four of them. Here's your alternate icons that we talked about. You can use this adventure with the Elf Queen or the three. And here's more overview, uh, how to use the icons and play. And then here's Battle One, the animated laboratory. Goes into all of the, uh, you know, the italicized uh, text that the players will probably know, uh, should know. Then here's the location description with all of the information you need to know. Here's the terrain and traps where it talks about all of the random animated objects. Pretty cool. All kinds of, and this is, it looks like it's inside of a tower, which is really cool. And as you can see, here's the little battle map. Now in the map pack, you'll have a color version of this, and then you'll have another version of it with no locations, because you'll see GC, BC, and it actually takes care and gets rid of all that stuff on, on the map pack. Really nice. And then for the, you know, the terrain and traps, there's just not one. There's actually a whole bunch of them. There's, looks like there are six of them. And then what the the windows will do, the glass, what more glass shards talks about the monsters, the tactics of the monsters, and uh, the loot. Here's the loot table, and then here's the icons and their relationship with this battle. And you can see that there is art all throughout the book too. And you can take this. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that they really. Uh, re-upload this as a color PDF and and so we can have colored images and whatnot but uh, like I said lots of art in the book and then here at the bottom here's your NPC this is a level two to three encounter so here's what you need for four second level characters all the way up to six third level characters so it, it uh, adjusts the the uh, encounters for you which is really good now the next page is going to have your creatures and like I've already mentioned some come from previous sources but like Cal mentioned there are a ton of new monsters and these monsters are just they follow the same exact format as 13th age with the you know they they have all kind everything is static damage there's all kinds of nastier specials there's all kinds of things that uh, are going to deal with the escalation die there are things that rely on even on odd, on natural 16 plus or 17 plus. There's all kinds of variables, and uh, I love that with the 13th Age monsters. And then it goes on to Battle 2, and you can see that there are, there's all kinds of, uh, there's Battle 3 with this first Moss's adventure, and it follows the same format. <clears throat> and as you can see, it just is the same thing, and, and you can see lots of art, so, ooh, Purple Worm. You could take this art, uh, you know, if it's colored, even if it's black and white, you can still take this, clip art it, and sh still show your player, especially if you're playing in a with a digital format. And you can see that all the encounters have encounter maps uh, and whatnot. So really nice. Here's uh, more with the Orc Lord. As you can see, it just follows the same format all the way through. I still would have liked to seen this in color, but uh, eh, that's all good. 190 pages, and we'll go ahead, and it even has some, looks like it has some clockwork stuff in here too, very nice. I love the clockwork stuff in the bestiary. Prince of Shadows, looks like some Nagas, Satyrs, it's like all kinds of kobolds. See, kobolds that are level 4 and level 5, I like it. All kobolds aren't just level 1. There's all kinds of high level stuff. Here's a level six kobolds. Wow, all kind of, a whole page of terrain and traps, man. Crazy. I love stuff like this. And you can take this stuff, guys, and you can and you can put it in other games, which is uh, unbelievable. Here's a black dragon. All kinds of the uh, dragonic sorcery and uh, dragonic characters, which are basically the dragonics are like the dragonborn. Pretty much the same. Uh, pretty much the same thing. All right, so it looks like we are almost to the end of the book. As you can see, lots of art, man. I mean, lots of great art. 
and you can take this and show the players and whatnot. So there you go, guys. 190 pages. And let's go ahead and take a look at the the map pack, shall we? All right. So here's the high magic and low cunning map folio. This is uh, in the pack, and like I said, you can get the combo pack of both the physical books. There's going to be a physical book, a physical map folio, and then the PDFs for each, and that's $39.95 as a bundle. They haven't shipped out the physical products yet. Uh, I guess they are just getting them back from the from the printer, and in my account manager it says uh, processing order, so uh, it didn't say that before, so I guess within hopefully the next couple of weeks I'll have the books. So if you just want the you know, just the PDF, you can get the PDF for twenty nine ninety five, or you can get the map folio for nineteen ninety five. And unlike the PDF, the map folio is all in color. So you can see here, these are the the GM versions of the maps, all in beautiful color, with the locations of each of the creatures, traps, hazards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, there's quite a few really nicely done maps too. And it you know tells you which uh, which battle scene it's for and whatnot. Really nice. Wow, look at all the the spike traps in there. That's a lot of hazardous strain. And then eventually you'll see that the locations disappear. And and there are a ton of maps. So we're here to the here's a, the first tower map there with Maws. And now you can see uh, there are no locations. So perfect. Nice colorful maps, and you can you know you can use these in other games too. Don't uh, don't feel that you just have to use these only for the Thirteenth Age game. I mean, you can use these maps for any setting that you want to. Whether you're playing Pathfinder or D and D or any fantasy game. But there you go, all kinds of nice maps, and uh, that's it. Map index at the end, and there you go. This is twenty dollars, nineteen ninety-five. The uh, PDF, the black and white PDF, is twenty-nine. Or if you want to get the bundle of the physical books and also the PDFs, it's thirty-nine ninety-five. And like I said, you can get this from the Pelgrain Press website. And once you purchase it, it'll you know your account uh, manager will have the PDF in there that you can download at any time. So there you go. Great job, another quality product by 13th Age. I love the layout. I love that uh, how Cal has gone into detail to really plan out all of these battle scenes for you. All kinds of new monsters, new loot, and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys. Tell me what you think of uh, high magic and low cunning. And uh, is this something that you would uh, possibly put into your 13th Age game, or maybe even. Uh, Maybe kind of convert it to another game. Maybe Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Maybe Pathfinder. Maybe Fantasy Age. Let me guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And uh, until next time, happy gaming, everybody.